silly chili seat checkup, shall we? I have been getting sloppy with my chili seat storage, so let's check what I got and repackage. Carioca, Butiolokia, Carioca F1, and I bred this particular hybrid of Carioca and Butiolokia all the way up until the F6 generation. The Carioca from this locality produced a kind of Siamese fruit. This happened a few times actually in the Carioca based breeding line. And those are the different varieties of the Carioca scorpion breeding line. From A to D, not in that order. Some leftover super hots from those breeding attempts. Leftover from my very first crossbreeding. Numex Twilight F1, taken from a plant I found actually on the roof of a garage, but that's a different story for later. Crossed with Carioca F2. Finally crossed into my oldest chili breeding line, which goes back all the way to my very first chili. I am still breeding this line for good luck, and maybe I should tell the story of it some later video. Done. Yeah, that's better. I guess. But wait, there's more. That small bag contained the Carolina Reaper and the Carolina Scorpion Strain D F3 after the back cross. Now let's see what we got here. Now oh, that's not chili. Get out, get out there. Let's see. There's number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, number eight, and I recognize this. It must be the Carioca Scorpion Strain D F2 after the back cross. Now what's this? Ah, seems familiar already. Some uh, loose seeds in there apparently. Okay, let's dump them just in there. A closer look is needed. I think I better lay them out. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is missing. Number nine, and uh, this was one of my favorites on this line, and it is the Cardiologia Scorpions 20 F1 after the back row. And we also have 10 and 11. In the end, I decided for number two to spawn the next generation. A mixture of two very small pepper varieties. <coughs> Sorry, a hint of chili powder in the air. Yeah, those are Chiltepin F1 and Carioca F1. Hmm, this is something different. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's actually a souvenir that a former colleague of mine um, brought me from his vacation in Tibet. The fruit looks quite standard actually. Not very spectacular, but I will take out the seeds anyway. And I'm curious to grow this in the future. What's left in there? Hmm. Ah, uh, I see. It's some additional number 11 from the Cariolokia Scorpion Strain D F1 after the back cross.
This cross is the result of the pollination in my demonstration video, can also be seen in the channel trailer. Is that it? No, I recently acquired those two varieties. Now for some summary. I got this fun varieties to play with. The ancestors of my good luck chili, starting with the precursor of generation 7. Also some of the original varieties. The Karayolokia line is completely preserved, including originals. Likewise for the Karayolokia scorpion strains. Well, except for the spare cross. Then there is the Karayolokia scorpion strain DF4 after the back cross, currently drying. Along with that Carolina Reaper or Carolina Reaper hybrid. And finally, the Karayolokia Screeper is almost ready to go in two strains, strain A and strain B. But they still need some time. Oh yeah, I can hardly wait for the next growing season to start.